Well, all right. My little buckaroos. Fat boy Ronnie here. Just got done with the first episode of 90 Day, 90 Day Fiance. Happily Ever After. Now, of course, I don't take notes. None of my face is ugly. Uh, so I'm going to do what I can with memory, uh, whatever comes to mind. Uh, first one is Colt, and I think his ex-wife is Larissa. Uh, I would like to know where she got the money to do all that elective surgery, to be honest with you. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. And then if you'd notice at the end with his new girlfriend, he got some loving first. Then he told her, I'm not announcing you. I think that's what I saw. I thought that was, <laughs> I'm going to get laid first and then I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody about you. I just thought that was who, I think, I don't know what to think of Colt, man. He seems petty to me. And, of course, so does Larissa and her friend that's been engaged. What's she say? 13 times. 13 times. Holy moly. If <laughs> that ain't drama, I don't know what it is. Holy macaroni. Holy moly. All right. Now let's go to the uh, Russian guy, Russian bully dude. You do what they say. Um, turns out he made a uh, wedding, wedding announcement plans at his father-in-law's house. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. It's 11.30 at night. I just finally got around to watching this. Um, I think they've been married two years. You know... Uh, people just need to quit being caving into someone else's culture sometimes. I mean, he told her your dad's going to have to pay, but, you know, they pretty much, isn't he like paying, isn't daddy paying for their house and stuff and he still ain't working? I know if I was a dad, I'd be telling, look, baby girl, I'm sorry. But it ain't happening till I see something out of him. Whoo. Oh, shit. Sorry. Mm. But, you know, I just thought that was just kind of strange, you know. Uh, you know, uh, basically he's living on the kindness of his in-laws, if you think about it. Oh, my goodness. I just thought that was dumb. Of course, they have Michael and Angela in there, and she's all pissed off over a freaking ringtone. Um, again, that's another sign of a uh, insecurity. Of course, I'm not dating, so I don't. Even when I was, I never. Oh my God, that's a new ringtone you got from somebody. I. I Really, I, I I just thought that was funny. Uh, I still don't think them two is going to work out. Uh, who knows? You know, um, who knows? I just... It, it, it's just like oil and water whenever they're both on TV. I, I, I mean, damn. You know, it's just crazy. But it's a hoot at the same time. So what are you supposed to say and do? But, you know, they did focus. Okay, and we'll go to nothing. They did focus a lot on, I think her name is Larissa. You know, they filmed her pretending to clean shit out of toilets. You know, I kind of feel like that was staged because she was just too, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you own probation or whatever it is and you have to do community service, ugh, you got to be able to do it all right then and there because I think if it's an unsat, they make you do it again. So I don't know. I I have no clue. Who else was on that? Oh, yeah, um, Oswalo, Smoan Dude. 
um, I noticed right off the bat when they pulled in and he just went straight to the house. Here's his wife carrying two kids and he shuts the door on them. Now, her dad did have a little talking to and I agree with dad. You either straighten up or I'm going to kick your ass or you're going to be sent back to Samoa. Um, Oh, I, I I don't care what culture you're in. You got a wife and two kids, especially under two. <laughs> you at least hold the door open, right? Don't you think? Because I sit there and I think that. I'm like, I, I, I saw that. And, of course, there's grandparents living in the house, and they're all, all over the kids. <sighs> Shit, I'm sorry. I'm so yawny. Well, it is like. You know, and he's just acting like a stupid idiot it's with that Oswalo, whatever his name is. I just thought, got an ass whooping coming from daddy, and daddy's going to whoop his ass. So what it looks like it's going to happen. You know, well, he laid down the law, and daddy said, well, I better go before I get mad. Oh, man. Who else is on that thing show? I can't think of anybody because I'm so tired. But yeah, episode uh, one, I don't know what season, but it's heavily ever after. And I'm about to watch Pillow Talk. My favorite part of 90 Day Fiance is Pillow Talk, to be honest with you. Whew, I can't even be funny today. I, I, I should have waited and done this tomorrow, but I didn't. Ah, oh, man. Anything interesting else happened on there? I did miss the first five or ten minutes I recorded it late. But basically all it is is Angela's going to be accusing of Michael of cheating on her. Uh, Colt's going to dick over Larissa at every turn. Uh, the Russian guy's going to, you know, be a bully enough to where the family wants to kick his ass. Uh, I think Samoan dude, you know, I do know they edit these things to make it look like the most dramatic, horrible thing ever, but based on what I've seen so far, it just, just looks like another season and nobody's getting along and then all of a sudden, bam, it's all good. Well, until the tell all, but anywho. That's what's going on right now, and that's what I saw. So, tomorrow is another 90 days. I done forgot what season, it, whatever it is. All right, y'all. Y'all be cool, kind, love one another, and help a stranger. Y'all be good now. You hear it?